Hey y'all, it's Amy from HarrisHomesteadBlog.com and I'm so excited that I finally get to present a finished project at our new home. We have so many projects going on at once, sometimes it feels like we're never going to get one finished, but this room is finally ready to decorate and put everything back in. So this is our sunroom. We have finally gotten all the floors done, all the paint and trim finished, and then behind me you'll see our new shiplap planked walls. So this isn't a project that I've always loved. We did, we did this exact project in our old house on a single wall for an accent, but this is our first room to do the entire room shiplap. I'm gonna walk you through all the materials we use, the specific tools that really helped us out with this project, and then the process we took to hang it, as well as the final product. So you'll notice that the shiplap behind me is still its natural wood color. I did have every intention to paint it white when we first began this project, but once I saw it with our white trim, our white baseboards, our white beadboard ceiling doors, the wood just popped, and I love the look of white and wood together. So for now, we're leaving it its natural state. It could end up being painted white in the near future, but right now I'm loving this look. So if you're excited about this video and see the process we took, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on our home renovations and everything happening at our homestead each week. Now I'll begin the tutorial. For this DIY ship lab, we purchased sheets of underlayment for about $14 a sheet. We purchased ours from Home Depot. I know you get it at other hardware stores, Lowe's has it as well. But we knew at Home Depot that they would cut these planks for us, so that would keep us from having to use our table saw and add an extra step to the project. We cut it into strips. We got them to cut it into strips. Our shiplap is six inches. You can do eight inches, you can do four inches, you can do it very small, kind of to um, mimic a beadboard look. But I do prefer the six inch shiplap in a large room. We did do eight inches in our old home, which was just an accent wall. But in here, I think the six inches was perfect. We were able to cut eight sheets out of one piece of underlayment. These are the power tools we use for this project. They're not completely necessary, but they did make the project go a lot more smoothly. The oscillating saw, air compressor, and nail gun, we did not have at our last home when we did this project. And you could tell a world of a difference this time around when we had those tools. I will have them all in the description box below in case you are interested in checking any of those out. So here in this first clip, we're about three rows down already. Notice our shiplap seams are not lined up perfectly. That's how we like our shiplap to look, kind of not planned. That door is going to be replaced. It just hasn't been done yet. So that is one of the updates we still need to do in this room. Riggs is with us tonight. You will see us using spacers. What we are using is nickels. We had three nickels. He was on one end, I was on the other. He nailed, passed the nail gun to me. The process goes really, really quickly once you get started. Finishing up here at the bottom, we actually removed our baseboards just so that it would be tucked behind. They need to be painted anyway. If you do not remove your baseboards, that is fine. You just will need to rip the board so that it fits right up to your baseboard. small wall now but you'll notice there's an outlet there were no outlets on the other wall to have to cut around so you'll see now he's trimming around the outlets with an oscillating saw this tool was a lifesaver for this project at our last home he used a hand saw to cut out the outlet holes and trust me if you don't want your husband to go insane when you ask him to hang ship lap and buy an oscillating saw So this is not a hard project at all. The most difficult part is probably getting all your materials together and actually getting in, in the room and getting started, especially if you can get your hardware store to rip your boards for you. So for a little update, we are gonna be shiplapping another room very soon and we went ahead and bought our underlayment, the four by eight foot sheets. The associate told us that they could not rip it into six inches this time, they could only rip it into 12. So just depending on who you talk to and what store you go to, you may or may not be able to get it ripped but it won't be that big of a deal. We'll just take it out to our table, table saw and rip it to the desired length. I hope from watching this tutorial, if you're planning on hanging your own shiplap, I've made this process seem a little less intimidating. Once we got started, this room went really quickly. If you 
enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate any feedback. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that as well so you never miss out on what's happening each week at the Harris Homestead.